to the all-new Lo-Fi SG TV. Every month we cover something that is really hot in the music world of Singapore. And today we have a sultry songstress who is really bendy as well. Who is she? Check her out. So in 2012, my plans are to release an album, hopefully by the end of the year. Uh, hopefully I'll get 10 tracks that I'm satisfied with by then, because usually I write stuff and the next day I don't like it and I throw it out and I rewrite again. So hopefully by the end of the year, I'll get 10 that I really, really like and, and put some new stuff out for you guys. Um, other than that, I'm also working on a side project. I'm opening a new yoga studio. So if you want more information, please follow me on Twitter. <laughs> Alicia Pan. Well, I've been into yoga for a long time now and um, I think it's kind of complementary to my music career um, because, I mean, maybe it gives me a chance to <laughs> go into spiritual music in the future. No, I'm kidding. I think my music direction at the moment is pretty easily acceptable by the mass. Um, I've always kind of been that way, incorporating R&B and soul into pop music, so I would like to call it poppy soul R&B. <laughs> I don't know if that's a genre like that. So hopefully I want to move a little bit into uh, a faster tempo. Hopefully I write a, a dancey track, not like techno club dance, but more, more up-tempo, more dancey track. And uh, I think you can expect to hear a whole bunch of different kinds of sounds. If I feel like I need to change it and make it a little bit more, more um, appealing to the mass, I can just add in a little bit of elements here and there, a little bit more poppy elements just to shift it around. But generally, no, I think the stuff that I write is, is pretty, pretty easily acceptable. If you ask me, I like dressing up a little bit for scenes, so I think my favourite would have been shoot, the shooting of the, the performance scene. But I'm not complaining. 